Alright. I think I'll help you find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Yeah, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. I understand. You said something about white gloves? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Gotcha. Well, I'll be... I'll tell you if I find your boy. I'll be here. Hi, right, Veronica. Hi, right, Veronica. And... Relax, Eddie. He ain't gonna be no harm. Come on. Let's go. You should talk to Margie. She's in charge, and she can probably help you find anyone you might need. She usually works at the front of the Gourmand. She likes to see how people respond to it. You can get to the Gourmand from the lobby here. It's a big set of double doors on the first floor of the eastern side. Can't miss it. Thank you. Uh, why is everyone around here wearing masks? Those are all members of the White Gloves Society. Our founder, Margie, gave us all a dress code. There's only one pool to it. In her words, we must dress in such a way that no one can be said to have dressed better than us. As for the mask, I'm not allowed to tell you. We're sworn to secrecy. Actually, that's not true. That's just what we're supposed to say. I think Margie likes them for the mystery they create, and the way they make it clear that we're different from everyone else. But you didn't hear that from me. I understand. Mm, must have forgotten to put it on. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> You're all right. You're all right, Chauncey. Farewell. All right. All right. Well, this other section is roped off, and... Huh? Uh-huh. All right, Veronica. <laughs> Kids these days. Wait a minute. Let's see. Oh, hey. Cool. I'm so relaxed. Too bad I can't stay longer. But who can at these prices?
Oh, one more door. <clears throat> All right, this must be the place. Oh, goodness, I'm starving. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Gotcha. You know, I'm looking for someone. Uh, they're missing. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. Hmm? I know our what? reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the charter. What? Uh, what do you talk... Anyway, uh, who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Uh-huh. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue the poor dude. Well, I'm investigating someone else. Uh... And he just recently went Mason. A oh, man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What were people saying? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Uh, about that investigator. Well, why, yes, I think so, if he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our major d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Um, okay. Ta-ta. Yeah, smart idea. If I thought to keep my distance. Alright. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, more to me. How may I be of service, sir? Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help this investigation? I'm on an investigation, too. I'm hoping we can help each other. You are? Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Thank you. Indeed. Okay. Stay close, I don't really like the look of these people. Oh. 
Come on. What are you doing, Veronica? Come on. Sorry you had to see that. See what we got. Uh huh. All right. Stand guard. <laughs> 